Uh, you will know my next guest as the Vixen from The Chase. She's on our screens every night this week the in the new series of you Beat The Chasers, where contestants take on all five of them at once. Chasers, the wolf Fenrir eats the Norse god. Uh, no, um, serpent, no. Ragnarok. Sorry. The market test is part of what TV cooking competition? Jenny. Ready, steady, cook. It's Master Chef 50 Shades of Hell! Well, the Vixen Jenny Ryan joins me now. Is it still stinging a bit after last night? <laughs> oh, um, having to watch it again is not ideal. <laughs> we don't like losing. No, I know you don't. When, I know. And when there's a slip up by one or more of us. <laughs> I know. And it does get very competitive as well. But that was a brilliant win, wasn't it? It was fantastic. It was one of those perfect storms where Kat was, she was such a lovely contestant, but that doesn't always translate to being a, a good quizzer. But we didn't have the best run and she just held her nerve. And I think that's what made the difference for her. No, absolutely. And we've all been doing a lot of quizzing, haven't we, during the, the lockdown? I mean, I know it's your life. I know it's what you do and what you love to do, but we've all kind of joined you. I, I think it's been, you know, we've all been doing, I've certainly been doing loads of puzzles and things, partly as a way to pass the time, but also just to keep your brain engaged and to escape. Yeah, I think it's, uh, the one thing about the lockdown has been that the national obsession with quizzes has been brought to the fore. I think it's always been bubbling under, um, but it is just a way to pass the time and to bring people together as well as keeping your brain active. So we've actually seen in this second series, I think the quality of contestant is much higher mm. than the first one all round because people have been practising, they've been watching old episodes, they've been working on their quiz skills and they've been looking at the tactics as well. So I think there are a lot more... Um, better tactical decisions by the contestants it's so in interesting. this series. Yeah, it's so interesting you say that because you would think it's just about do you know the answer or not? You know, how good is your general knowledge? How much information have you amassed and that you can remember? But it's so much more than that. There's so much more to it. There's a lot of levels to it, yeah. I think one of the things that people forget is you can learn something perfectly well but recalling it under pressure Indeed. is a whole different skill set. So it's really important to practice and to just to, to keep the neurons firing so that when you are in that situation, you know full well that the capital of France is Paris. But can you remember that? under intense pressure with the studio lights on you, with those bearing down on you. We yeah. are literally <laughs> right over the contestants. It's quite uh, an intimidating setup in there. But it's a real sort of family now, the whole chase, you know, with, with obviously Bradley at the heart of it. And he was the one that gave you your name, wasn't he? He was the one that called you the Vixen. That's true, yeah. Um, so when I first started, um, I had a, a test run, a, a bit of a, a screen test in the studio with Brad hosting, just as a, a chemistry kind of test, really. And I had my hair in this big ponytail, a bit like this one. The producers have been trying to work out what my nickname should be. And they wanted something animally because I like a lot of animal print. And right. uh, they suggested the cougar. And I said, okay. no, because I'm too young to be a cougar. <laughs> and Brad came up with the vixen because the red hair, it looks ah, like a fox's brush. Right. And foxes are, are, are really intelligent animals and really cunning yeah. and uh, can be quite fast. Exactly. I mean, we saw you, not just, of course, in, in what you do in the chase. Um, we saw you on the X Factor Celebrity Edition and people were really impressed by your beautiful voice. I love that dress. You look like a present. It's fantastic. You look like a Christmas <laughs> present. It's beautiful. But you really, you really did. And, and there could have been something from that. There still could be. But of course, something called Covid got in the way. Yeah, it was, it was very hard to keep the momentum going, not just because live performance has pretty much gone out the window. Um, but because I get a lot of joy from enjoying music with people, and I think that's something that the joy was taken away from music for a few months for me. So I am I feel like I'm a little bit behind with the music, but I'm everything is crossed that live performance and live theatre comes back this year because I would love nothing more than to get up on a West End stage and uh, belt a few numbers out. So... Yeah. 
Fingers crossed. I hope so. <laughs> I really hope it works for you. I really do, Jenny. Thank you for joining us this morning. And Beat the Chases, of course, it's tonight, isn't it? Nine o'clock on ITV, if you fancy going up against the Chasers. Good luck with that, though. Thank you, my darling. Great to talk to you. Thank, Thank you, you, Lorraine. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.